How's the last week been for you so far? Oh, it's been great. Just, you know, still celebrating with family. Just, you know, happy to be here. Happy to be a part of such a great organization. And just glad I got the opportunity, really. What were your first impressions walking into the building? Oh, man, it's, like I said, great organization, great players, great coaches. I mean, all I could do as a player is just grow from, you know, being here. So, I mean, I was amazed when I pulled up and saw the stadium. It's a great place to be, uh, great weather, uh, great place. You know, it's different than Texas. So it's it's fun, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Your coach, Joe John, did he mention, uh, talk about his time playing here? Yeah, he yeah. loved it here. You know, we watched a lo little bit of tape of him playing here, and, you know, he always talked about it in the position room. And, uh, you know, we said this would be a great landing spot for me, and I got here. So, you know, we're both excited. We're fired up. Like I said, again, just ready to get to work. And did you take some time to kind of look at the 49ers offense, how they use tight ends in line and out after you got drafted? Yeah, just, you know, peeking, seeing what they do and, you know, how they do it. And uh, like I said, it's a great offense for me to be in, you know, some similarities to Oklahoma. So that's always good. And like I said, it's just a great place for my uh, specific play style. So like I said, I'm excited and uh, like I got a great veteran to look up to in George and uh, I'm excited to learn from him. So, you know, it's all good on my end. Have you talked to George at all? Yeah, we had a lot of interactions, you know, just texting and I saw him today. So, you know, that was good to put a... Uh, well, I've seen his face, but, you know, just being able to see him in person. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, great guy, uh, great human, great player, obviously, and uh, I'm excited to learn from him. Uh, a lot of guys in your situation when, when Lincoln Riley left might have uh, might have gone elsewhere. Uh, you see that happening all the time. Right. What was your decision to come back? I mean, why, why was it important for you to kind of see things through at Oklahoma? Yeah, just had a, a bunch of great coaches come in and, uh, you know, t got to talk to them a little bit. And I just liked what they were preaching, liked what they were about. And, uh, you know, I felt like I could have a better season under them. So, you know, just going back and like, you know, just trying to rebuild that era of Oklahoma football that we're used to. You know, this uh, when you lose a coach, you know, sometimes the foundations don't stay the same and everything, but we still wanted to keep the foundation the same. So as many older players and experienced veterans that we had in that locker room, the better. So that's kind of why I stayed. And obviously just to improve my seasonal stats too. Did they use you differently than the previous staff did? and use you more or, or, or better in your estimation? I would say they used me similarly. You know, I, I think I did a lot of different things with Link where, in terms of, you know, splitting out and, you know, being in the backfield, in line, all that different stuff, just a whole bunch of versatility things. But I also do think I got the ball a little bit more uh, under, you know, Levy. So, I mean, great offenses both ways, great coaching staff both ways. But, you know, yeah, I enjoyed my time with them. I've been a, I got kind of a two-part question for you. Did you – have a sense that the, you were on the 49ers radar throughout the process and then when they take a tight end in the third round were you disappointed were you thinking that that might be a spot for you oh i mean just looking at the style of play and you know how you know the niners use the tight end i always thought that would be a great fit for me like i said talking to my position coach in college just thought it was a great fit and uh you know talked to him a little bit throughout the pr draft process and you know how to farm with them and you know when i Got here for a visit. You know, I was excited. Like I said, it's a great landing spot for me. Um, you know, all that matters is that I'm here now. You know, I, you know, just blessed to be able to be drafted and blessed to be able to be here and be a Niner. So, yeah, is it interesting? I mean, to come in with another tight end who was drafted and you got someone to lean on. And he can lean on you. You can lean on him a little bit. Do you know Cameron? And do you have a connection at this point? Yeah, no, we uh, were together at the Senior Bowl. We were on the same team, and I think we worked well together. And uh, he's a great guy. And like I said, we were on the same team, so we kind of know how each other works, how we each other learns. And we talked prior to, you know, our well, after the draft, and we decided that we were going to, you know, just help each other, get jugs, get extra work, just kind of hang around each other the whole time. And, you know, that's the perfect situation when you come in with someone else. You know, you always have someone to lean on, someone to – you know, confide and ask questions. So, you know, it's a great situation for me. And, you know, it'll be great to, you know, learn from each other and grow it with each other, so. You've been exceptionally good after contact, breaking tackles. Is there something in the coaching process at Oklahoma that allowed you to, to really hone and develop that that mentality to be able to run through tackles? Oh yeah, of course, you know, Coach, Coach Finley did a great job of making sure we emphasize, you know, 
after we catch the ball in practice, we're always finishing. You know, we're always making a move after the after the catch or we're, you know, finishing a run, act like we're scoring a touchdown every time. He said that's what the pros do. So that's what we tried to do at college. So, you know, I think it just prepared me to be able to catch the ball, get my eyes back around, throw a stiff arm if needed to be, break a tackle, you know, a move or anything like that. So it's definitely practiced and uh, you know, that's what he said the pros do, so I'm just gonna keep on doing it. So no no doubt. When you said you mentioned the Niners play style fits you, are you talking about, what are you talking about specifically? Uh, just, you know, everything. Just, the, you know, how great they are in the run game. Just, you know, the blocking, the unselfishness, just just the team camaraderie and just, you know, everything they, you know, stand for. You know, I think that's similar to Oklahoma. And uh, like I said, it's, it's just a bliss to be here. Just out of curiosity, what would your, your 40 time have been? I didn't see anything listed. Uh, I'm assuming probably better than 4-6. Anybody else? Have you gotten an invite to tight end you yet, like George Fitzon and Nashville? Oh, I'm assuming that he's going to drag me there. But, yeah, I mean, I haven't got a formal invite, but he, I'm assuming that I'll be there with him. So I'm excited for that as well. I've always seen it, you know, the last couple of years. So that looks like a good time. Were you aware the 49ers gave you their highest draft designation, the gold helmet? Have, did you know they were that interested? Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't know that. But that's pretty cool. I'd love to hear that. But, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you.